Hi, this is Kai from New Electronic Frontier, and today I'm going to unbox and try out the XXM module from Modular by Rides in the Storm. So the packaging is a bit unusual. So paper wrapper. <laughs> and the fun thing is actually that the wrapping also is a manual. So <laughs> Smart space. So the XXM is actually a mixer module. It can uh, do a two times four mixer or one times eight. And uh, with the jumpers, you can actually configure it to have audio or CV um, put in. And um, yeah, it should bring a lot of flexibility. Eight channels on just eight HP with low power consumption. So let's take a look at the module. Careful. So, as expected, we have the power cable. I have like ah, screws in here. Oh, that's a nice little detail. They put plastic washers in there so your model module surface doesn't get scratched, like that one. Apart from that, let's take a look at the module. So it's a. Um, it's massive, really. It weights a little bit. It has a massive metal plate, um, but good layout. And the knobs have a, a have a nice resistance, so I guess you can dial in pretty precisely without, you know, accidentally putting it. And it's just enough space to, yeah, get this eight channels going. So, as you can see thick metal plate uh, clean PCB here are the jumpers for configuration yeah really like that it looks very promising so far um, yeah rides on the storm is a company from Berlin um, I just stumbled up on them right now I didn't know them before um, but they offer quite some interesting modules uh, for a really nice pricing so let's see what it can do in the rack okay and here we go <clears throat> with the rides in the storm xxm inside the rack so to give you um the layout again you have like channels a and b <clears throat> or like sections a b and you have like inputs one two three four um, the knobs for controlling the uh, signal amount and then below you have a slight difference you have an out and for the section a you have an inverted out which as the name says uh, gives you an inverted signal of what's coming in uh, and the mix of the coming in signal and then you have section b you have uh, still the out and then you have like a master out which is not connected to section b but puts out like everything that's going on in the mixer so a and b together as a sum output um, so interesting to know is um, section a is uh, strictly dc coupled section b can be switched from dc coupled to ac coupled uh, that could be interesting depending on your setup uh, because if you have a dc coupled um, um, circuits they are actually um, feasible for um, yeah uh, audio rate signals and control voltages so both of it is fine for them um, however um, if you have a let's say only dc coupled um, circuitry um, and you connect um, audio equipment like a speaker to it it can potentially damage uh, a speaker because these very long waveforms like a long long pulse wave for example can uh, really damage the speaker membrane because it's too slow for what uh, audio equipment usually does right so this is why you can um, even if you know if you need it for your setup you can uh, via a jumper on the back side of the module you can switch uh, the section b to ac coupling which adds a filter in the circuitry which filters out the super slow um, things and prevents your audio equipment from getting damaged if you need it so now for the setup, um, I mean, I've, I've tried to uh, hear the difference in the module uh, between the original signal and the module. I didn't hear anything, so it sounds super clean and crisp and, and, and 
no changes to the original signal for me uh, but to give you a visual because it doesn't make any sense to feed this into my audio interface and then through youtube to you <laughs> you wouldn't hear a difference anyway i guess um i put it hooked it up to my scope um so from my Dupfer a110 vco we get a sine wave and um, a sine wave is via multiple split it. The original signal goes into an X-bit sleepers ES8. It's the green waveform you can see on the oscilloscope. And the other split it signal goes into the XXM um, and then into the X-bit sleepers as well. That's the yellow waveform. So, and let's see how this looks like. And um, if we turn up the... Um, amount of wave and you see to a maximum you can see these waveforms look super identical i couldn't see any difference between them um, so no surprise here for me um, just reflects what i was hearing before so no difference to be honest so for the inverted signal as you can see now you have a beautiful inverted signal and if we put in the master also not surprising pretty much the same signal and if we try out a sawtooth wave just for having something different you also see same drill here no surprises crisp clean <laughs> uh, mixing of the signal so actually what you would expect from a mixer what i expected so yeah I, I i am super happy with the xxm um it comes at a moderate pricing to be honest um i was surprised around it and i was actually looking for a small form factor mixer with quite a lot of channels and um, apart from just mixing the channels together i think you get an incredible good amount of uh, little intelligent yeah, features on top um, which is really like you have these two independent um, um, sections which comes in really handy depending on what you're doing um, that you have the inverted output as well that you can work with that it can handle um, audio rate and uh, control voltage um, uh, signals both of them uh, well so actually i i guess you get a you get a good bang for the buck so it's it's uh it's quite a lot of flexibility added to my rack here um apart from only mixing eight channels and it comes in an H hp form factor so really good size um, and you can still pretty well use it um with uh yeah even with like bigger fingers you everything is reachable and the design of the knobs uh, really helps you in dialing in precisely and yeah so if they have a nice uh, feel and touch to it so if you're looking for a new mixer for your rack um you should really um yeah take a look at the rides in the store mix exam i really like it i think it's at least worth a look and for me uh, i guess we will be friends in the future so with that thank you for watching um don't forget to subscribe or hit the like button and and come back uh, frequently that was Kai from New Electronic Frontier and see you soon.